see you game. They're tied up 6-6 in the third quarter. The ponies spring Charlie Jackson and watch this boy go. There's great blocking and Jackson can pick him up and lay him down. 47 yards for a home run. A good kick puts the Mustangs ahead 13-6. Now it's the fourth quarter. This time Curtis hands to Swink for a quick opener straight ahead. Jimmy gets a key block, but the Mustangs finally move in after a 22-yard scamper. It's a froggy first on the SMU 22. Two plays get two yards for the frog, so Curtis gambles on a pass in the flat, and it's good. Ray Taylor has it. He moves to the Pony 6 for a 13-yard gain, and it's first down and goal to go for TCU. Now it's fourth down, and the frogs still look for a score. Curtis fakes, then he gives to Swink. Jimmy bowls his way through a stubborn Mustang defense for a touchdown. A good kick ties it up again, 13-13. Late in the final period, TCU moves against that old-school tie, and Curtis goes back. Now watch a young man's mind at work as he makes his choice. It's Brian Ingram. Ingram gets it for 18 yards on a first down on the Pony 16. Now let's get acquainted again with a swanky Mr. Swink as he moves our way. The Pony secondary eats him up on the 10-yard line, but Jim has put six more yards on his mileage chart for the day. Two plays later, here's Ray Taylor to score the winning touchdown. The conference championship rides on this one and the final score. TCU 20, SMU 13. It's New Year's.